Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Chew, chew. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Chew, flock off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. wrong with her we have to go back sure we're heroes but there's a limit Thanos sucked Is that our running away from the church song? Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Okay. Let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. I could really use a flarkin' drink right now. Ray wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. What? Hey, <laughs> Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. I don't need. Oh, out. What? Oh, the come on. Uh, and, oh, come on. She all shows of hot. Bang, bang. I and hot <laughs> weeds. <laughs> All right, I like that one. Want to talk about the guy? There's nothing to talk. You chopped his arm. And that's all I did and flarked up. We can't. Who did you see? No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Right. Flash the cargo. Could you move? One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this flarking cult ever again. How about you, bud? Are you... I'm glad... Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. It's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar. 
and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxy must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am done. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends her regards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> channel with less butthole content. The Flarkers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be recorded as proof of your demise. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are five of you. Ain't a bad question. for these guys. Doesn't matter. She wasted her money. These ships ain't dying fast enough. There's an art to this rocket. We're artists. These guys have really bad timing. Perfect timing from where I stand. I would love to hunt you down. Side of Morning Glory is running his mouth again. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. That's the one. Good to have bounty hunters after. We for making a name for ourselves, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is as bad as a costume. Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scout works. Screw, find us a channel with less butthole content. <laughs> Markers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be recorded as proof of your demise. Take fire! <laughs> ah! Pathetic. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. These are making a name for ourselves, right? Unlike you. I have done my research in pure kill. Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scout worse. 
salvaging. Rude, find us a channel with less butthole content. I am rude. The blockers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be reported as proof of your demise. After us. It means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking down crafted crap hole in this legion of crap. These ships ain't dying fast enough. There's an art to this rocket. We're artists. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. And feed your ego? No thank you. to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Yes. Feel free to show off if you die. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Jeez. How much money did you Whoa! offer these guys? <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter? I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... Well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? 
nothing. It's well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Lady Skull Suit us the worst block in timing. Who's she here? Just her goons. This time. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. You okay? There, cat. Stay still.
the barrage. They will not survive it. Ah! <laughs> it's really pissing me off. Showing us up, Quill. I'm starting to feel like you pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Ooh! Right up the exhaust port! These creeps are getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. <clears throat> Taking heat! on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yeah, old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow, talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Not to leave. Now is my young. Need access to facilities. Swear not to leave them. Don't get serious now. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Novacore Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? Hunter must choose quickly, little one. <laughs> After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. 
Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle brain. It might nope. work. Please save your celestial body. Or artificial, artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, but look at this scut. It's hilarious. Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Hands off. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? I know. Let's join the Corps and rob them. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in World Mind doesn't already know? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We are aware of the current threat, but can vote no resources toward fighting it. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. I know. Let's join the Corps and rob them. Because that went so well with Lady Hellbender. Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right. She's, uh, dead. We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and assumed dead. Hey, isn't this that buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit it in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. Scroll back up. I think I saw someone interesting. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Hey, Fulberry. Got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Cadet Nikolai Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Perhaps we should try another menu. Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. This menu again? Only one application per cycle is permitted, and you cannot resume a cancelled application. is missing in action and unable to respond heard of him he was in the resistance so much for near perfect algorithms helpline do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention no thank you for attempting to be an upstanding citizen as all prisons are being evacuated you may self sequester wherever you wish to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate 
to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9. Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world minds collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things. Experience things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? Millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith. As an energy source is illogical. illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It, it is not magical. magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It, it exists because we exist. exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are pleased 
You reached the same conclusion? We did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on the Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Drew's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they the promise us, must be screwed. freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Noble core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Hmm. 
Really? How did you... I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Whoa. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> I can't... I can't think about this right now. Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go. Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice!
Quill, wake up. Huh? <sighs> Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I'm less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. That will give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right, uh, right. Because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. I've already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thanks, Lark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Can he did? If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? 
Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy can we chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. Whoa. What? What is it? Well, the good news is we're not on the sacrosanct. The bad news is I have no idea where we are. We'll worry about it later. Focus on letting us out. Right. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Groot. Bet your bark it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax the hijack. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Good, then let's go find our friend. At least we all managed to get some rest. Speak for yourself. I barely had time to fix the engines before Drax locked me in. Didn't even get a power nap. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I know you're ready. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey! I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, the stuff is gross. Ah, uh, kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst. Oh, ah! Rocket, you all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great. They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles. Pacifists, that's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find... <gasps> Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, 
just calm down. No, she called me here. The men are lost. Rocket, a little help here? Uh. <laughs> Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau well, once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omvad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> You'll find me. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am Groot. Uh, plant people like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in! What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, it's more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Yeah. Watch out! Double floor! Yeah. that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. 
More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Just keep moving once you're in. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy Vulture's future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around and find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. <clears throat> All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, are you feeling lucky? Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Can we be worried about this fog? I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Are you Groot? Oh, no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotati Root. What kind of stories do the priests tell? Legends of lingering souls trapped in stone. Can't you feel their residual hum? I feel like we're being watched. What the floor? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive, but I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. I need to 
here something we have to avoid mantis over here all right i like drax as much as the next guy but i am officially sick of this stupid cave you uh see something out there mantis so many things too many things shadows of a civilization that lived here once before forlorn faces that can see like me horrors yet to come and other shadows too ours not ours a figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Yeah, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right vibe, of course. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm good. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere. Did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? 
Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Here goes Nelson Scott! Watch out, everybody! Nice landing, Sky Guy. Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, that's it! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill! Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do. I'm done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're just here mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? If the whole place collapses, but at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, mm -hmm. can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood. Rocket! Rocket! You want to know the plan? Yep. Close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. The one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Are you smart, Why did I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again? Well... And that's how it's done. Eh, the exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight... More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, Little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Shatari, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hope I never would! Got rid of another snake man! Man, I hate these freaking things! Oh! Shatari were hiding out in this cave? They aren't always. Sometimes we just run into cute little unalive old guys. You know what I'm talking about, Star Guy? I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Feel free to ask them. Man, what is this like the worst life? Would be hiding underground as long as 
if they stay there? With our luck, Hellbender's goons are on the other side, just waiting to jump us. Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now. Ha! Hold it! Need I remind you that you are the reason she's hunting us? Don't these guys know how to let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army of them jelly things with them. Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things. You were saying? Just had to chase up, didn't you? Hey! Anyone notice that this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? <laughs> of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bought. How far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make a man squirrel. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language.
Well, that went about as well as expected. I was sure. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead, and I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. Okay, that almost worked. Almost dry, it's still wet. And... It must still be stuck somewhere. Aha! The root of our problem. You really think this will work? Sure. I think totally, bud. It's probably just entangled in roots or something. If I can get it loose, we might be able to divert the water. More, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Yes! Just a plan. How do you? We ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Almighty Star Lord. You say something? God, uh, nope. <clears throat> that. It was working for a sec. I just need to reload faster. Heave! Still holding on. How about a boost, Kamara? Suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about the dad. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. I'm... Easy, Green Weenie. They'll figure it out. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? Way. Just tell him how high. I am Groot. No, it ain't 
none of their business. I am cold. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rock. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramp corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Hey, what now? I thought we just... <laughs> I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am cold. Has he always been able to do that? I am cold. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am cold. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in the tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraisers! I know what I heard! has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. All I hear is noise. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No fucking way! I heard jelly! It doesn't ah. matter who's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's... 
That pretty much sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Get those things as long as I live. doing this not it us this isn't right it can't be real sure felt real when we were fighting them it's the fog they're just sounds and it's just a coincidence they sound like all the flock and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently Shh. what do you mean Shh. Shh. Right about what Shh. there's a new way out so it was nothing i think it depends it's got something to do with the freaky fog Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The Fog Entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. But obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense? And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. One time is a definite answer. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, ah. okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super 
proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man. Our friend. Hey, Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, pulling a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't <laughs> anyone stop me? You're all trying to roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Yeah. Hit him down, Groot! But now I got proof. I guess this is the definition of an even fight. Can we make it create something friendly? Well, how about some units? Lots of units. Find a way to find the statue, Saga. The evil must be stopped from within. You get that, Peter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some about the statue. It should have worked. It's been 
did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. You're kidding. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentus for a reason. This is a place of healing. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe... Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. the gravity of your treacherous trespass.
cannot quell a god. <clears throat> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker, not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happen. Ugh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little uh, <laughs> You're not the only one that hears that, right? Expecting a family reunion, hey Gamora. I enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am. Better than therapy. Remind me not to make her mad. Big guys, taking a knee. Time. 
so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. We are trespassers on tainted land. Guess that means we're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs>